With the introduction of Marvel Spider-Man 2, we got the symbiote suit arc. We finally got that story for the Insomniac Games' version of Peter Parker, and it was pretty good. But what if the other symbiote suits that we do have also had their own symbiote surge versions? And specifically, I'm talking about the Raimi suit because the Raimi web suit is fantastic, but how cool would it have been to have an original Insomniac design for that suit where it kind of evolved and went even more crazy in the game. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a mod that was made by my good friend Reza and it looks absolutely fantastic. And you already know when Marvel Spider-Man 2 comes out with mods, this is going to be put over the Surge suit 100% I have zero that's about that also towards the end of the video I'm going to share some fantastic news about a certain trip I just had recently so stay tuned for that as well so now here we are with the Raimi symbiote suit like the symbiote search suit and my god does it look even more fantastic at night time this is mainly where we saw the original uh, Raimi symbiote suit in the movie as well we saw it at night time and oh my god that is way too bright what the hell <laughs> oh my god it gets so bright okay so i think this is good enough in the lighting we kind of just want to move it to the side there but check out how beautiful this suit is now i dare say this would have been even better than what we got as the original Raimi suit this would have been even better like I think Reza has absolutely nailed the design here and we're gonna go fight Shocker in a second like we're gonna go chase him down it's gonna be awesome I love that reference but check this out so the emblem is really fantastic and keeps that sort of classic symbiote look but also kind of looks Raimi fied to a certain degree like you see it's kind of like spreading its like legs if you that sounds so bad. <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way. I meant like spreading the wings, but I caught myself too late. <laughs> oh my god, the comments are going to call me out for that. But the craziest part about this is if you even like zoom in here, look at the details over on the actual emblem itself. Like Reza, my friend, uh, damn. <laughs> That's all I could say. I love the webs as well. I love how like it, it they just kind of go crazy there's no real pattern to it it's like the symbiote's trying to replicate it and then it kind of just stops here right like it like it stops after the like um well it stops at the hips like point and then when you go down to the boots it kind of starts up again so it, it kind of feels like that sort of spectacular spider-man look where the symbiote kind of evolves and it i love that because this looks like a pissed off symbiote like version of the Raimi suit which is what it is it's the symbiote surge version of it and this just makes me want Marvel Spider-Man 2 on PC that much sooner because you already know subscribe right now because as soon as this drops on that game I'm putting this over the symbiote surge and we're going to be going crazy with content so you look at the back as well and I genuinely think it looks fantastic the emblem looks great on the back here as well um and then you go down and it's the same thing and I kind of like how it just like has that little spiky bit to it there i i think that's pretty neat and then the same thing in the back of the boots there and then you know you look at the arms and i love how glossy the suit is so now that we look at the lenses here check this out so the actual initial outline kind of just disappears and it just looks way more menacing and i actually really like that a lot and you can kind of even see the webbing going onto the inside of it and there's even like a ton of details on the inside of the lenses too like there's just so much goodness to this suit like i was saying and even the like the actual webbing the way it's still like raised it just looks so good and i don't mind it looking like see how it kind of looks like a bit deformed but that's the intention of it because the symbiote can't exactly replicate it now it's just kind of taking this as its own form and then it kind of it's pretty much like if spider-man took on the venom form right like if he fully bonded and then this is when the suit kind of gets away from him and then goes on to eddie brock and then we'd see that venom but i think this is such a fantastic design and <laughs> jay jonah jameson talking all right let's let's go chase after shocker shall we Oh, this is gonna look sick. Hi, Herman. Seriously. <laughs> That's so good, man. Oh, I love this game, dude. It feels so good to be able to come back to this. Like, I've even added some 
Uh, web swinging speed mods is oh man, look at him flexing, dude. And also, it feels good to have my game actually work because oh my god, <laughs> like before it didn't really work, like it would lag for some weird reason when I want to record. So, it feels nice to be able to record videos on this again because Marvel Spider Man 2 is awesome, but the mods for this that the modders are preparing because they're still making breakthroughs when it comes to. Okay, I'm just gonna chase him the normal way. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so great, man. It is so great. Shocking. <laughs> I've actually never heard some of these quotes, so it's just kind of funny just chasing him around. Alright, let's catch him. God, that looks so clean. Oh my god, dude. Noted. That's peak. That's actually peak right there, man. <laughs> Definitely let me th know your thoughts on this suit as well in the comments below. 100% because I think this is one of the best versions of redesigning something that we already know of and applying it to something else. So like taking the Surge suit from Marvel Spider-Man 2 and how it's like a more angry version or... Yeah, more controlling version of the symbiote suit and then applying it to the Raimi suit itself to get this kind of venom looking thing is just incredible. Because Raimi cooked with this design, I think. Like, I, I know a lot of people. Oh my god, I thought I dodged that. That's it, my boy. I don't want to catch him just yet. I kind of want to chase him around a little bit longer. Come on, Herman. Just like making fun of him by being in front of him. Alright. Now it's kind of... Let's catch up to him. Oh my god, my FPS. So I wanted to do just one more mission here real quick. And this is going to be the Strawmates Camel mission. Also, look at this background here, man, for the suits. This is also by Reza. If you look at, if you look at the left one. Uh, that's Agent Spider, man. This is so sick, dude. I love it so much. This is literally perfect. So let's get into the mission. I know I've replayed this one so much, but it's been so long since Marvel Spider-Man 2 came out now, like six months. I've not played this mission in a while, so it's very nostalgic to me. Let's check it. Oh, that looks so clean, dude. That genuinely looks great. Wow. <laughs> I'm with all the Marvel Spider-Man 2 ladder. Oh my god, that see? is perfect. Find the rest. Boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. And then here comes the big boy. Fisk Jr. gonna cry. <laughs> hey, big guy. Oh, okay, I forgot he does that. In a second. I don't need to heal, dude. I got this. Boom. Right there. Oh my god, he got destroyed, though. I missed the wall attacks, man. Alright. Do a cool flip. Get rid of that guy. I feel so bad for him, but I've done it at the same time, you know? And he's okay. done. You're done, my boy. We're, we're giving him that Raimi special. This cutscene, man. Let's get a bit laggy though, but I think that's that could be the game because I've got so much stuff going on. But performance is good still. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best part, man. 
I could never hate this game, man. Genuinely, so many good moments. But check that out, dude. How good is that? Oh my god, it is just so good looking. Sorry for the FPS drops. But I can't believe how good this genuinely looks right now. And then we're out of the cutscene and into the lava. Did that just happen? Yeah. That just happened. Yep. Makes it sound like an MCU moment. <laughs> helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah. Clearly it's not. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, no, 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 we got it, we got it. It's been a second since I've really... Oh yeah, we can't even do the web swinging around the corners to slingshot ourselves. No, no, the Osborne sign, no. At least the slow motion lets me catch up a little bit. That helicopter is destroying the city. I know. I know. Oh my god, what the hell am I doing, dude? <laughs> Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. Okay, come on. I think this is where. Hey, man. Pretty much caught up for the most part. Oh, yeah, the little. <laughs> oh, that was sick. That was the first time I, was, I managed to do that. Imagine I just blew it up right there. Alright, cutscene time. My poor PC. <laughs> Okay, just keep going, just keep running. I live to regret this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're still going. Yeah. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we just gotta This is your master plan? Replace Fisk? Okay, go to the other side. Well, I just s speed run that whole thing. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but yeah. I guess this is the plan. Okay. Oh, that's so good, man. PFPS though? Not, not really. <laughs> I don't know why it's so loud. Hey, at least we're going to get that cool shot in a sec. Oh, that is so good, man. There it is. Now, let me tell you all about my trip. Okay, so my partner and I, we went to DreamHack in Melbourne, which is a really cool event. They actually have like a creator thing here as well, but I was too late to kind of get into that. So I'll get into that next year. And it was a damn cool experience, right? Now I'm a little bit of intimidated by flying, but damn, this view was actually pretty good considering like how cloudy it was. And I hate it when you get hella turbulence, man. That part always sucks. So this is where we were staying. This is in Melbourne and this is Flinders Street, it's called. It's got this beautiful sort of like just tram part here and the clocks and everything. It just looks crazy. It looks fantastic. It really, really does. Um, so this is the Flinders Street station. It is great. It was really cool to see the city. I didn't really get to exploring much because the thing about this event, it was only like three to four days um and we were only there for like a couple of days so 
there's me at the Double Tree Hilton, which is where we stayed at. This is where I had a really nice dinner. It's, it was actually really affordable. I don't think I took any photos of dinner, unfortunately. But it, it's kind of funny because I just look like I'm there alone. <laughs> but I promise I'm not. Look at me. I'm so happy. I'm like, yo. <laughs> it's so funny, man. And now we get to the cool stuff. So one of my favorite things when going to events like this is going to the artist alleys and supporting various like cool artists and people that just do awesome stuff like this. And I grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh and I had to get these these like prints, man. They look crazy. Like look at Yugi and I think one of them's Bakura. I haven't kept up with this show in a long time. Um, but I just remember absolutely loving all of these characters, dude. OG Yu-Gi-Oh! remains undefeated, like 100%. And um, I'll show you more of the room and stuff later that I stayed in. So this is the room that we stayed in. It's just uh, King's room, just fairly standard stuff, really. Um, yeah, you could see the lamp there. I mean, I don't know why I'm talking about the lamp. This wall thing was really weird, though, like... It was very bumpy. Um, the TV was alright. We were just, like, my partner and I were just watching a ton of, <laughs> like, Fallout 4 videos, like, informations and deep dives and stuff. And funnily enough, like, you see the window bit here. That was, we couldn't see the city. This was just, like, seeing all the air conditioners and the walls, which was pretty funny how we ended up with that room. But I'm not complaining. I had a good time. And then this is the shower. So, you know, your standard amenities and whatnot. Then this is probably my favorite like print I've ever gotten and this artist is fantastic man like holy cow where do I even begin with this so you know you've got I think that's yeah green goblin up there uh you got vulture you've got electro you've got dark Ock here off screen then you've got the far from home suit spidey you've got the amazing spider-man one suit uh andrew garfield and then you have Raimi Spider here. Like, this is just peak as hell. And I think these are like Venom tendrils here too. Like, it's just such a cool art, man. It really is. It's so good. Like, I just can't wait to get this. I'm, I'm going to put this in like a frame and put it up because it's just so fantastic. Then we've got like some pins and stuff. And yeah, I've got a Democracy pin. We've got some Baldur's Gate 3, some JoJo's, some VTubers. That's Mori, uh, Mori Calliope. We've got some Pokemon stuff up there, Bayonetta, um, just a ton of really nice stuff. Some very cool badges as well, um, crony thing there, that's another VTuber. And then we've got Blue and Bingo, I don't know if you know what that is, that's like a cartoon here in Australia. Very wholesome kids cartoon. Then you've got Sukuna there, and you've also got another Mori Calliope thing there as well. So, pretty cool stuff. And then these are all the artists here. So make sure to go follow them 100%. Um, if you like what you saw there for arts and like pins and badges and things like that, definitely worth it. And I highly suggest to go check them out for sure. And then finally, we went to like the DreamHack uh, Hollow Live Down Under concert. And this was one of the craziest things I've ever experienced. Like it was a 3D VTuber concert. It was crazy, dude. Like... They actually blew it out of the park. Obviously, I couldn't really record anything here, <laughs> but it actually went crazy. It really, really did. It was like fantastic. The energy was great. And there was like a ton of people there as well. Um, and wow, like, I mean, my partner's a way bigger fan of VTubers than I am, like when it comes to this, but I'm still like getting into that whole stuff and I've got a few favorites myself, but it's pretty damn crazy to have been able to attend the first like uh, 3D VTuber concert here in Australia. So that, that was a hell of an experience that I won't ever forget. The crowd was awesome and it was just a damn good time there. Yeah, there's my partner here. <laughs> you could see the two VTubers here. Uh, this one wasn't there and this one was. This is Mori Calliope and this is uh, Takarashi Kiara. And we also got these lights. These are cool lights, but god damn, they were expensive. They're like $50 each. They're worth it. This is in front of the DreamHack uh, logo at Auburn. And then you've got me as well. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't look so funny there, but I'm just like pointing. Oh man. And then I gotta show you like a really cool thing that's 
pretty crazy. So if you look at this, this is like a video that went viral of my partner just holding up the plushies making them kiss it did it went viral and it's crazy like there's been a ton of fan arts and things with this man it is <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> so definitely go follow our partner on um twitter you know orange v i'll have it linked down below and yeah this is just something i really wanted to share about the trip because i genuinely had a good time so that's why i didn't post for a couple of days as well but you know i just wanted to definitely be kind of in touch with you guys here with the stuff that i do sometimes off screen so i like being real with you guys and i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching have a nice wonderful day peace